how are you all doing guys and welcome back to the Guna Express, your hub for all things Arsenal and Arsenal have just won the North London derby 2-1 at the Emirates against Tottenham Hotspur and I am so, so impressed, pleased, happy, I can't even think of any more words to say, I'm just so happy with that performance, I'm so happy with the fact that we've won, you know, the, the North London derby is so important to Arsenal and the fans and I'm just so, so happy that we were able to win the game. And we're going to do the match reaction and player ratings. And there's going to be some very high player ratings today as I'm very, very happy. But before we do get into the video, make sure to smash that subscribe button as I'm so close to 100 subscribers. Also, make sure to hit the bell and smash that like button on the video. So getting into the match reaction and the initial starting lineup was Leno in goal with Gabriel Louise as the two centre-backs. Um, right back was Cedric, Tierney left back. The two midfield pivot was Xhaka and Thomas Partey. Erdegaard was in the number 10 role with Smithrow on the left, Saka on the right and Lacazette up front. Now Aubameyang was dropped from the team. He was on the bench today as disciplinary issues uh, were being brought up and apparently he missed a player meeting before the game so he was dropped if this is true which i'm pretty sure it is there's a lot of reports are now saying it's true then abamiang you're the captain step up you know what i mean you can't be missing things like this you need to be uh showing yourself as a captain but I mean, it's disciplinary action, so I can't complain with it. And also, Martinelli wasn't in the squad. Apparently, um, he asked to be dropped from the matchday squad due to family issues, but we don't fully know what's going on there. But I wasn't concerned about the initial lineup because for me, I don't care who starts. I didn't care who played or anything like that. I just wanted to win the game, and that's what happened. Now, getting into the actual game and what happened... We hit the bar quite early on. Um, Smith Rowe, with an absolute right foot rocket, uh, hits the crossbar. If it was just a couple of centimetres lower, it would have gone in. But it, we started off really strong, and I was very pleased with the team. But we weren't taking chances, and 33 minutes in, Eric Lamella scores what is possibly one of the best goals in Premier League history. Rabona right-footed shot between Partey's legs, nutmegs him, and it's in the bottom right corner, and it was a cracker of a goal. And I'm just shocked that he scored it, to be honest. It was an absolute belter. But um, it all looked a bit doom and gloom. You know, we 1-0 down, should have taken chances. How are we going to move on from this point forward and step up Martin Erdegaard? What a performance and a goal from him as well. That's two goals in two games now for Erdegaard. And it was it was it was a halftime goal right before half time. I'm so pleased with the fact that we scored at that minute and that Erdegaard got the goal and Tierney absolutely demolished Doherty in that for that goal. Left him for dead. Wonderful ball into the box and Erdegaard with a finish. Now, second half, I was a little bit nervous as Spurs would have come out a little bit stronger, I thought, and they didn't. <laughs> they came out and were awful again. But Lacazette gets a penalty. He absolutely fumbles a volley. But luckily, Davidson Sanchez thinks he's in Cobra Kai or Karate Kid or something. And he absolutely destroys him. He boots Lacazette straight in the leg. And it's a penalty. It would have been a straight red card. However, Lacazette wasn't in a goal scoring opportunity as he already kicked the ball. But it was an awful challenge. And Sanchez did get a yellow card. Um, but Lacazette scored the penalty. And I have to give praise to Arteta for this because I was thinking initially, why is Aubameyang not starting? Maybe we should ignore the discipline stuff for now. But Lacazette had a great game and scored the winner. So fair play to him and the manager. Um, and for the rest of the game, nothing really happened. I mean, Eric Lamella went and got a red card. Classic Tottenham, that isn't it, to get a red card at the Emirates when they're losing. If we remember the Jan Vertonghen red card in 2018 when we won 4-2. That was interesting, wasn't it? But yeah, Lamella, he had a great game until that point, really. I mean, he put a lot of dirty challenges in. I thought he should have been red carded much earlier, but he slapped um, one of the Arsenal players in the face, which was quite silly, really. Um, but yeah, we won the game 2-1, and I'm just so happy that we got the win. So let's take a look at the player ratings. Uh, let's start off with Burnt Leno in goal, and I'm going to give him a 7. Didn't actually have much to do in uh, this game today. It was only really the last 15 to 20 minutes where Tottenham actually attacked. 
But he's going to get a seven. Um, couldn't have done anything for the goal. It was a world-class goal. Um, and again, he didn't really have much else to do in the game. He also kicked the ball long quite a few times today. So I think he's tried to learn from the mistake that he made against um, Olympiakos. Um, let's take a look then at Cedric. I'm going to give him a seven. Didn't really have much to do on the right side of the pitch, to be honest. Um, Son went off quite early with an injury. So I hope that he's all right. Um, but yeah, didn't really have much to do. Going forward, he put in some good crosses, but just nobody was on the end of them. And if we're being honest, most of our... Most of our attacking threat was down the left, like like it usually is. So Cedric didn't have much to do today. But yeah, seven overall, good performance and didn't do anything wrong, really. Um, the centre-backs, let's take a look at David Luiz. And David Luiz, I thought, was excellent. Going to give him an eight. He and Gabriel were both amazing, but David Luiz... He's so good at going. He's, he's so good at going forward. There was a time when he was in the right wing position, cutting in into the box and all this stuff. He, he's so good, and for me, he gets too much disrespect. But he, he was excellent today. Going to give him an eight, and then moving on to Gabriel, who was next to him. Going to give him an eight as well. I thought he was impeccable. Him and Louise were so good together, and I think that may be our new best centre back pairing. I know that I said Mari and Louise was our best pairing last week, but. It changes every week, apparently. But Gabriel had an excellent game against Olympiacos and another excellent game today. So going to have to give him an eight. Left back, Kieran Tierney, going to give him an eight as well. Got the assist for the um, Erdegaard goal. Was ripping up Matt Doherty. And, oh, it was just an excellent performance from Kieran Tierney. A captain-like performance. And I'm still going to say it. I want him captain as soon as physically possible. But an excellent performance from the Scotsman today. Going to get an eight as well. Um, both midfielders, Xhaka and Partey, I'm going to give them both seven, um, but let's take a look at Partey first. And yeah, a seven for Partey, I thought he was great. Um, very dominant in the midfield. He dealt with Ndombele and Heuberg quite nicely. And to be honest, Mora was all right, but he didn't really get to do too much today because Partey was just that good. But yeah, seven for Partey. And then Xhaka, going to give him a seven as well. And I thought he was great again. He's re Since that mistake against Burnley, he's been pretty good. And today again, he was good. Really showed that he can be better than Heuberg on his day. And it's just a shame that he can't perform like that every single week. But a great performance from Granit Xhaka. Another seven for him. Um, right wing, Saka. Now he did go off at half time, apparently due to a minor injury. And he was getting fouled a lot. And I thought Tottenham today overall were quite dirty. But I'm going to give him a seven. Did quite a lot when he was on the pitch. Forced a yellow card out of Reguillon. Was causing quite a few problems down that right side. And I think it's just unfortunate that he had to go off. But a seven for Saka. Left wing, uh, Smith Rowe. What a performance. I was initially thinking that I don't want Smith Rowe on the left. I think that he, he's quite poor on the left. But today he proved me wrong. A nine for Smith Rowe. What a performance. He didn't score or anything like that. But he was creating everything chances key chances all of it he could have scored if that rocket in the first few minutes would have gone in but hey what a performance nine for him and then Erdegaard as well gonna give him a nine excellent performance great goal and again like Smith Rowe linking up the play showed so much passion today he showed so much passion and I really hope we sign him but every time he plays for Arsenal his value goes up and up and up so I don't know if it's going to be possible, but I love him and I hope that we do get to sign him. A nine for Erdegaard today. And then Lacazette, the captain for today, an eight as well. He was pretty much perfect. Um, could have been a little bit better in terms of going forward. He missed one or two chances and probably could have been a bit faster. But he scored the penalty. He won the penalty. His hold-up play was excellent like it usually is. And he showed today that we didn't need a Bamiyan. And that is the main thing. So an eight for Lacazette. Um, now moving on to the free substitute, starting off with Nicola Pepe. Going to give him a seven. He was amazing when he came on. He was impeccable. He created the chance for Lacazette when we won the penalty and it was a great ball. He was again causing problems to Reguillon. And I think it, it's a shame that he didn't start. But at the same time, Smith Rowe and Saka were good when they were on the pitch. So I'm not complaining that he didn't start. But he was excellent and he's looked so much better recently. So a seven for Pepe. 
Um, Willian came on as well. Going to give him a five. He was pretty poor, but he wasn't bad. Some of his passing was a bit off. He went backwards too much, but I think at the time when he came on, we were pretty much going defensive, so I don't really blame him. So a five for Willian. And then the same thing for Mohamed El Neni. Didn't really have much time to do anything. Going to give him a five because he basically came on the pitch just to draw the game out. Now, Arteta, going to give him a nine. Pretty much perfect. Again, I could have criticised the starting 11, but I didn't because for me, it was all about winning the game. He won the game, which is the main thing that matters. And as well, his substitutes were pretty good. Pepe, I thought, was a great substitution. Willian, mm, it was an all right substitution. And then El Elneny, for the last few minutes of the game, was a very good decision because it just drew the game out. So overall, I'm so pleased with Arteta. I think he got everything right today. I think his actions in terms of Aubameyang was perfect. He disciplined him. It paid off in terms of we didn't need him. And... How can you criticise him today? What what can you say to criticise Arteta today? Because I don't know. But for me, the man of the match has to go to Smith Rowe. I thought he was impeccable. I thought everything was coming from him. And it's just a shame that he didn't get that goal. But what a performance overall. And the main thing for me is that we beat that dirty scum from down the road, yeah? All the Tottenham fans love to say that you aren't from North London, this and that. Well, we came to North London and we took over. And North London is always going to be red. And we proved it today with a wonderful win. Yes, we're still 10th. Yes, our season hasn't been the best. But I couldn't care less because we've just beaten our biggest rivals in what is the biggest derby in England, the North London derby. And as I said before, North London is red. If you want to check out any more of my content, then I will be doing some more videos in the week, mainly regarding the Olympiacos game on Thursday. I'll also be doing some games for Arsenal's fixture on the weekend. Uh, some videos, sorry, for Arsenal's fixture on the weekend. Make sure to like the video, subscribe. As I said before, I'm very close to 100 subs. Make sure to smash that bell to get notifications when I upload. And also make sure to put down your player ratings, thoughts, opinions, feelings, everything down in the comment section below. I thank you all so very much for watching. Arsenal really impressed me today and I hope to see you in the next one.